Let us explore an interesting feature in ChatGPT of PDF or any file analysis. If you have an Excel file, PDF file, PowerPoint file, Word, JSON, Notepad, any document, you don't have to go through and search all the data. Let the ChatGPT do the heavy lifting job for you. What I mean to say is, let's say a health insurance policy. Now, you might have rarely, hardly read the entire insurance policy in your entire life. I can guarantee this thing. So imagine there's a 20 page insurance policy document the sales representative comes and talks about many, many things. Okay, but you're not sure you trust that salesperson because you don't have time to read everything. Plus, there are some technical things which are mentioned, which is very difficult to understand. You can ask ChatGPT, you can upload that PDF document of health insurance and ask straightforward questions. Do I have the accidental cover? Do I have the in-hospitalization cover? How much cover do I have? What are the things which are not mentioned in this, which are important for me? So those kind of heavy lifting questions can be asked without even reading a single page. Let's try to understand first. So what is this uh, feature of ChatGPT, Excel or any other file? You just upload a file, ask any question, and you can get clear answers without any jargon. Technical things you don't have to remember. You don't have to mug up those hard words. So what is the smart solution here? The ChatGPT reads your files and gives you summaries it can give you a tables as well and also question and answer. You can chat with that PDF. You can chat with that Excel without you reading all the pages. So it can be an agreement document. It can be a policy document. It can be a HR offer letter, a job letter, description, anything. What is happening today? People are spending a lot of time into reading the document. So 73% of working hours goes into reading and finding data. 73% of time. Second, long reports, contracts, resumes, invoices, they waste a lot of time. To find out the minor details, you have to pay a lot of attention. So instead of doing yourself, let ChatGPT do it for you. And because of this delay, 73% time, which is you go into minor details, you're not able to take the decision. So decisions are delayed due to hidden information. Something might go wrong. It has personally happened with me, 20 pages of agreement document. And there was one word which we did not understand. Okay, we ignored that word. And because of which we have to pay heavy price. Okay, so this might happen with you as well, but you can use ChatGPT to get all the answers. How do we use it? It's a simple thing. Open GPT, upload a paper clip, and then you can just work on that. So this is a visual presentation. You have this uh, files which you can pick up. It can be Excel, it can be PDF, and you just ask a simple question. Okay, the way you ask to the any representative that we can pick up. So let me show you an example here. I have this chat GPT. Okay, I'll create a new chat. Before I open that chat, I'll show you something. I have the uh, files kept into one of the folder. So I have a health insurance policy. Okay, and I have a Excel file. The health insurance policy, I'll just double click and open. I'll show you the number of pages that document is having. It just randomly selected from Google. Okay. The number of pages are how many 45 pages are given here. I'll just sc scroll through and you can see the 45 pages. Okay. I can guarantee we don't read into our entire life. So suppose I upload this PDF and I can start asking questions to ChatGPT about it. Uh, it will give the answers. Okay. So uh, let's see if you see the toll free number is given here. Okay. On page number 19. I'll ask that question to that uh, chat GPT and I'm just searching some information which can be relevant. Okay, important. Okay. And these are the name of the hospitals which are given in different locations in Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Chennai. These are the city names in India and I can ask them uh, city names in India. So one is toll free number I'll ask and second is give me the list of hospital names in the region in Pune. Okay, there's two questions. I'll close this and uh, I'll upload this document into chat GPT. Please observe. I'll click on this option here and uh, I can click on add photos and files from that location. From that particular location, I'll pick up this and click on open. So imagine 45 pages and when there's an emergency situation, you will never read that. You will never ever read that. Okay. So what you can do is you can ask what is the toll free, uh, toll free number. Enter. So it will scan all those 45 pages, <laughs> read the heavy lifting work and within 60 seconds, it has given me the number. Okay. Now I'll ask the second question. I don't like to type. Okay. I'll ask the second question. Uh, tell me the hospitals uh, which I can contact in Pune. Okay. Uh, near to Shivaji Nagar. Give me the hospital names which are near to Shivaji Nagar because I stay in Shivaji Nagar. So I want those locations. And once I finish that, I can just click on enter and let's see, uh, it will again scan through the document. So what I'm 
doing right now i'm chatting with that pdf like that it's a human okay i'm chatting asking simple questions these are the list of all the hospitals in that location okay i'm asking a sample question is dental thing covered in that uh, insurance can i show my root canal thing uh, for that insurance policy a random question <laughs> if if it is able to give the answer so all right what about the policy about dental okay what it means for root canal so the only way dental like claim different it was directly connected to accident so that means in the road accident if my dental thing goes away okay then i can get it done otherwise no i'll not get my accident done for that dental but yeah same way you can keep on asking difficult difficult questions uh, is the um, uh, kidney stone or heart failure covered into that health insurance policy so you talk about it right this is one example of health insurance because every person in the world once or the one or the other time definitely goes through the health insurance policy for hr it can be agreement document for hr it can be offer letter it can be resume okay a policy document for a business owners it can be agreement document for a student it can be an assignment for a freelancer it can be work order for business analyst it can be srs brs system requirement document business requirement document functional non functional requirement documents any document it can be so you need to understand your job would be just to push the pdf and get the output remember do not put your confidential data into chat gpt okay uh, if it is very confidential don't put it okay you can use copilot which is microsoft tool which is more of confidential part but just giving a, a input here so some use cases for example you can extract the legal okay extract the clauses from contracts automatically you can compare hrs can compare the resume you upload two resume you upload five resume and ask them which one is the best person give them a rating it will automatically give it summarize you can summarize 100 invoices to csv in seconds okay there are 100 invoices you upload and tell them give me csv which contains a date name and amount i have to pay you can extract that information send to your accountant uh, convert real estate convert the scanned documents into summaries if you have a pdf which are scanned documents you can use that for conversion part and generate uh, you can generate quizzes highlights for manuals assignments mcqs projects case studies everything can be created with this chat gpt here you just write a simple question it will generate a pdf document for you so try this for the other files you can upload a word document ppt document pdf document and image as well it will extract the information or it can also create let me show you something i can ask them create a pdf with bank statement why to type it okay so i want you to create a pdf document which contains bank statement a sample bank statement which has 20 records and it should be into a pdf document that's it don't type it <laughs> so don't type it just give a voice command and it should work for you okay dictation so whatever we are learning we are applying those learnings into this tool itself right so within 60 seconds it will generate a sample document i can click here and you can see the sample document would be downloaded so you can create a policy document sample document you see these are some records which are a bank statement document you can modify you can change it modify it anything you can do it now second example i can talk about i have a file named as superstore sample data now this data contains information about uh, let me share my screen it contains information about sales profit discount quantity and so on okay if i select some column the number of rows i have 995 if you see at the bottom 995 almost 10000 records so if i want to understand what is the total sales what is the total profit uh which region how much sales are done it can get the answers quickly so basically you can do a data analysis okay i'll create a new chart photos and files and i can ask them give me total sales total profit and region wise sales in table that so for a human it will take more than 5 minutes okay if he is a average excel expert but here it will take less than 1 or 2 minutes to get the output okay less than 60 seconds in fact so a data analysis you are a solopreneur you cannot have a data analyst not have an mis expert over there you cannot have a team if you are a solopreneur it's difficult right you have to pay them but if you are a single person you can see total sales total profit and the analysis 
If you want, you can also ask them to create visuals. Kindly create a region-wise sales donut chart. Also create a category-wise sales a pie chart. And you can create a map for state-wise sales. So I'm giving them a command. I have things in my mind, right? I'm just giving them a command to keep on creating visuals. Again, remember, you should not put confidential data into this chat GPT. If you are trying to still put it, just change the name of the columns, just change the name of the clients, contact numbers, you can change it and get the output. This is a donut chart. The first one donut chart. Second is a pie chart. And then third one, it has not created, but yes. So if you see, there's an option as switch to interactive mode. And this is a new feature, which is completely interactive. Okay. And if I go back here, if I click on this interactive, this is how it looks like interactive mode. Okay. Perfect. So this is what you can do. So I've just given two examples, one a PDF document, one an Excel document. You can use PowerPoint, you can use Word document, uh, JSON document, Notepad and some other documents. Any document you put it, its job is to do your heavy lifting work. You don't have to work hard. Remember, work smart. So this was about the AI feature in ChatGPT, which is for data analysis, data extraction and understanding the documents. That's all for this video.